woken up and we are getting breakfast now at a cow pancakes house and uh, we just got our food. It's a lot of food. I got the uh, the sweet three, Charlie got a short snack of strawberries and then we also ordered a uh, like a meat platter essentially on the side, a trio. So we're gonna get started on this and uh, hopefully it's good. Uh, later today we're gonna go to the Polynesian Cultural Center, so that's gonna be our whole day. We're gonna be lucky if we get everything that we want done, but we'll see. So uh, yeah, peace. So we made it to the Polynesian Cultural Center and uh, I just finished grabbing a cash, really quick and easy grab and go. I believe Charlie went to go to the restroom, either way. Um, we made it here and the place is huge. It's kind of like a, uh, reminds me of Fantasy over in Phuket where it's like a large area, almost like a Disneyland, but not quite. It's a theme park, um, but it's a cultural center that's here to explain things to you and show you different things. So as far as I can tell, it's a whole day affair here. So essentially you're dealing with uh, a lot of um, shows and different seminars, so to speak about different cultures and then beyond that you get to participate in different um, activities that they have and offer per different Polynesian island. So let's take a look. So it's really crowded and popular here as you can imagine but ultimately it's uh, really neat because there seems to be a lot of different things to do in the marketplace area so clearly they want you to buy stuff but ultimately the prices aren't nearly as bad as they could be. I mean, I saw the sarong that I bought yesterday for $15 here, but you know, whatever, it's cool. <laughs> it's uh, pretty nice around here and uh, a lot of guided tours. So if you bought different packages of the um, tickets, you could get uh, either a dinner and a show, just the show, just the dinner, then a lot of different combinations, but a lot of them also have um, ambassadors, which means that they have a docent that follows or that guides you around the villages so that you have access and, you're, and a lot of things are explained to you in a timely manner. So, not a bad idea. But, uh, anyways, let's go. All right. And obviously, we are back here at the Airbnb. And we have returned from the Polynesian Culture Center. The, or the PCC as it's known. It is an amazing place and it was worth every penny that we spent on it. It was $120 with a slight discount because we booked ahead and the food was delicious at the Luau, the shows, the Luau show, as well as the um, main show at the end were both very well worth it. It was just an amazing experience, so much so that there was so much to offer, I should say, that we weren't even able to finish everything we wanted to do today. So they gave you three free extra, extra days to go back to the PCC and experience the other bits and pieces of it. So when we finished watching all the different areas and learning like the culture of Tonga and Fiji and Tahiti and as well as Hawaii. We were able to actually go then and experience some of whatever their traits were. So like fishing in a certain way, using nets or, or a specific type of pole or learning how to throw a spear. And we kind of skipped over those exhibits in order to make sure that we were kind of watching all the, the, the cultural parts of the PCC. I believe that we only missed Tongan. Um, well, we'll find out tomorrow because we're going back. And that's another thing. Uh, I left tomorrow or the day before we're leaving Hawaii blank just so that we could kind of fill in anything we missed. Um, we were planning originally to hit the USS Bowfin because we didn't miss that. But we've bumped that off to see uh, Diamond Head or go hike Diamond Head instead. We're going to wake up early and just go to Diamond Head and hopefully we can find parking as well as get up the, uh, get up the, the trail. 
after that, we'll pick up some lunch somewhere and then make our way back to the PCC, which is up on the North Shore, and go do the activities. We pretty much just have from noon to uh, 5 o'clock. That's the only time that the villages, as they're called, at the PCC are open. So we could hit up Fiji and go do whatever they have to offer, and then Hawaii and... Uh, Tonga as well as uh, Tahiti or any of those places they, they have we noticed they had some smaller islands as well and We didn't really get to see what was going on there, but we'll definitely hit those up and see what's what now I Don't really think I took any vlog like me talking to the camera uh shots when we were there so aside from what we have from Lynn I'm just gonna have to let the the b-roll kind of talk for itself and I'll put most of the kind of performances that were recorded at the end at least the complete part of it so that um, there'll be some memory of those performances but yeah being that we're both dead tired now I think that's uh, where I'm going to end today at, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Well, some of you might know this song, so sing along with us. Clap your hands, clap, 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 clap. Sing along. Country road, take me home. Sing. Sing loud. Take me home, country road. Check, check, mic check. All right, that's our sound check. Here comes a real song. Here we go. Clap along, Clap, 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 clap. Sing along with us. Make up your own words. Lip sync. Ula la ye Hawaii kalena, we we kani kiti kalena. Sing, okay, kiti ema kala sala Sing along, nimula nimula kere sala. Nanu mi kiti bano alai alai. Nona sa sanga me toro da ke mai. Sing, tumu ko kiti me romo edai. Sing along. Daiti Maori Maira Here we come Kala Ula Aloha Kiara Salafa Yorana Malolele Yotonga Ola Hey Enda Sama Ibe Kuna Kale I said sing Meno Natura Vanila Sing any song you know Enda Sabi Bibi Bita Kayani Ula, got a hand for the dancers, the musicians. Thank you.
This particular pelican is one of the oldest pelicans, taking us back 1,600 years. So it has passed from one generation to the next. And this is what we pass on to the next generation as well. It is a story of Hiyaka, the younger sister of Pele, sent by Pele all the way to the island of Kauai to bring back a companion by the name of Lohiao. And the trials that she faces on the way to Kauai and back to the big island are what is shared in this epic tale. So we share with you traditional hula with a chant entitled No Lune Kahale Kai O Kamaleva. for the fast hip shaking dance. So when I say fast, it's really fast. It can go from 60 miles an hour to 120. <laughs> but for you today, we'll teach you the five miles an hour. We don't want to break any hips today. So we're gonna have all the ladies, please stand where you are, because you will all be learning. Put your feet together, hands on your hips. You're gonna bend while alternating your knees front and back. This is gonna sway your hips from side to side. If it's not swaying, you might bend a little bit lower. So, ladies, please follow our dancer. Men, please come along. This is usually not a 
a costume for Santa Claus, but today <laughs> we're in Hawaii, so. Here you go, you're gonna come right in front of me. Now the man, please stand where you are. You can face me. Yes, there you go, you can watch me. It's called the Paoti. Can you say Paoti? Paoti! Paoti. So this is the name of our dance. You're going to put your feet together, hands on your hips. <laughs> you the hips, guys. You're going to bend. And you knock your knees in and out. You know, this was the funky chicken. You guys ready? Hands on the side. Watching you guys dance. Well, of course, you didn't come here to dance for us, but to watch us dance. So, for this, we're going to bring back our dancer Taylor for you and Otea Amui.
So if you don't stand up, right where you are, you need your hands free for this, you can leave the things on the bench right behind you. Now we're gonna be stepping side to side, so if you have anything down by your feet, if you can put that on or under the bench, that'd be great as well. All right, now really simple. All you have to do is follow us like you're following a mirror. All right? So we're gonna start, first of all, both hands straight out in front of you. You know, bring your hands into your chest and try to keep your elbows up. Now I know you're all in close quarters, so negotiate that with the person next to you. Uh, if at all possible, you can spread out a little bit. That, that helps as well. Next, you're gonna open up your right arm to the side. Stop before you probably chop anybody standing there. So if you stop at an angle, that's fine. Like this, we will take two side steps to the right and then two back to the left. As we go to the right, hands point to the right. Coming back to left, all we do is switch, hands point to left. Simple enough. And that's why you don't karate chop the first time, because I can guarantee it's coming back when we do it the other way. <laughs> now the arm that is bent, your hand does not cross the middle of your body. So this is how the Hawaiian stands. This is how the tourist stands. Don't dance. Some of you dance like that. Don't do that either. Keep both arms fully extended, just a pivot to the elbow as you go back and forth. Ladies, to show grace of beauty, you're going to roll your fingers nice and graceful, like a lovely man right here. Once with every step, so it's two times to the right, then switch, and two times to the left. Yeah, and again, we're looking just for graceful fingers. Yeah, so none of this, or any of this. I don't know what this is, don't do that. Yeah. Gentlemen, keep your hands nice and straight. Unless you want to show grace and beauty, then, you know, roll my ones up with you. So let's add our hands and our feet together. Remember, it's two steps to the right, two back to the left. If you're really close, take small steps so you don't step on each other. Hands to the right side, ready, and go one, and two, switch. And one, and two, once again to the right, goes one, and two to the other side, and one, and stop. How was that? Pretty easy, right? So that's what we do with our feet throughout the whole day. So for now, forget about our feet, concentrate on hand motion. First motion, both hands back out in front of you. You're going to turn your hands over, open it up. Hands come to the side of your body, and make a circle right in front of you. Good, let's try this again. This time we have the words that say, wherever you go, circle in these islands. Good, leave your right hand out, the left hand goes back to your hip. Gonna turn your right hand over, open up to the right side. Switch, same thing with the left hand, turn it over and to the left side. Good, adding the words again, we goes wherever you go, circle to the island, in these islands, right hand, wherever you have your left hand to be. Good, left hand on your hip, right hand comes out, point out your index finger. Point three times, first to the left, then the front, then the right. We're gonna switch hands, Shake your fingers twice. One and two. Uh, let's try just the pointing side with your right hand, right? Goes left, front, right, switch. Shake one and two. Okay, so we add that together from the beginning as well. Both hands out there. Goes wherever you go, circle in these islands, right hand, wherever you have the left hand to be, point three times. Know that chances are, shake your finger, that you won't be far. Hands to your hips. And that's all the motions to our dance. Got that? Yeah, yeah this is yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, one more time. From the beginning, both hands out there. Goes wherever you go. Circle in these islands. Right hand, wherever. You have your left hand to be. Point three times. Know that chances are. Shake your finger. That you won't be far. Hands on your hips. And that's all the motions. Good. So now we have our hand motions with our feet. Okay, remember all we did is two steps to the right, two back to the left, whatever happens, just keep moving. <laughs> Even if you get the motion, move anyway, otherwise you're gonna walk into each other. You also notice that we generally move in the direction of the hand we're using. So if you use your right hand, we're probably moving to the right. If you use your left hand, we're probably moving to the left. Kind of helps you keep track of which order one. So from the beginning, hands to the right side, ready? And the one. And two, switch, and one. And two, keep moving both hands wherever. You go circle in these islands. There you go. Keep moving the right hand wherever you have your left hand to be. Point three times. Know that chances are. Shake your finger that you won't be far. Hands and hips and style. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, not good, but you know, not bad. Not bad. Okay, at this point, leave, leave your both hands um, on your hips. Feet about shoulder width apart. We're going to bend down slightly. Stay in a bent position. We're going to rotate the hips in circles. Circles don't have corners, they just round everything out. But we only want your hips, not your whole body. So keep your shoulders still. And actually, the lower you bend, the easier it is to go around. Let's see the circles, everyone. All right. So have you done this in public before? <laughs> Some of you have, okay. So we're gonna do a total of five circles. 
Two slow, three quick ones. Got that? Two slow, three fast, whichever direction is comfortable. Hands on your hips. Bend down, ready, go, and the one. And two, and the one, two, three. Some of you have done this before, ha! Huh? And the rest of you haven't. So let's try one more time. <laughs> Hands on your hips, bend down, ready, go, and the one. And two, and the one, two, three. That's the way to do it. Now to finish off our dance, we take two steps to the right like we did in the beginning. Hands to the right side, we go one and two, stop. Step forward with your left foot. Get a blow kiss with both hands and take your bow, all right. <laughs> now we do the song twice through with the music. And then we finish it off that way. First time through, we will dance with you. Yeah. Second time through, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever happens, just smile. Here we go. Oh, my God. 